Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to modded Minecraft 1.12, playing on the one man, one mod mod pack. Here with a focus on immersive engineering. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. What are we doing today? Well, you can see we've got a little bit of a change up here on the top of our mountain. We need to take a look at what has changed around here. I'm going to show you a little bit of a tour of what I've done off camera and we are going to be working on a little improvement to our blast furnace. And if we have time, we're going to see about, what was it we were gonna look at? Oh, a new form of power generation. That's right. So let's get started. Right, first things first, we need to address the elephant in the room. There is a lovely new beacon right here. It's a map beacon. It's not an actual beacon. And if you look down there, it says death. Yep. At 851. Just now, actually, as I'm preparing to, to record this, I had pulled all of my armor off as I usually do for my intros. And that included my feather falling four boots. And then I fell down the scaffolding all the way to the bottom. So we've got the gravestone mod. That's not a problem, but it means I got all my stuff back. The problem is that I lost a lot of levels. I was at level 56, 57, I don't know, something like that. And I lost all of them, which is more of a shame. So here you can see, what else does this tell you? Just tells you what you have on you. But other than that, nothing else. It'd be cool if this thing told you how you happened to, to die. But does this say in here? Yes, there we go. So if the grape fell from a high place. Yep, anyway. We can now go into waypoints. And let's just get rid of that. And so the, the two times that I have died on this map, it's been, well, to my own... Uh, Oh, misfortune. Anyway, so you can see some of the things that have changed around here. We've got windmills dotting all of our base. We've got wind, we've got two over on this direction. We've got two on that face. If we look over here, we've got, what? Uh, let's see, one there. And then I think you may be able to see another one over there. Okay, so we've got, what, seven like that. And then, yeah, seven total. So we got one here. So all faces of of this whole island are covered with windmills and we're going to do some more of those but I have moved the the crusher so so we did that last time I moved that and then what I want to do is show you a little bit of some changes here so we've got an LV capacitor attached to both sides so one over on the other side and one here and then I've got wires transmitting that to set of capacitors right here that take this down into our hollowed out mountain, which I've shown you before, but uh, you can also see that we've got some, oh, well, it doesn't show you the coil. This is the insulated coil, so I can walk right in it. No problem. And yes, I've, I've caved and, and did that, but you can also see out here, we've got a little bit of a difference on how things are arranged. So we've got another, another layer of windowing here. And then I put some glass in up there. So I took care of, of some white stained glass all uh, in between episodes. So yeah, that was one of the reasons why I was wanting to do the crusher. And that was to get a little bit more bang for my buck for those, those bones that I get from skeletons. So anyway, uh, the problem with the scaffolding is that if you, it doesn't catch you like on a, a ladder, it's uh, if you don't have a good grip on it, you will fall all the way to the bottom. And that's what happened here. So uh, right here, this is the first. Uh, well, other than what you saw upstairs, this is the next major change. You can see we've got wires strung all about. We've got the capacitor. We've got a capacitor on each of the windmills. So it gives us a little bit extra storage. And then I've got the wires strung on relays all the way up to our main set of uh, usages here we've got the external heater we've got the metal press and then we've got our crusher right there so uh, that's that's pretty cool this is kind of my immersive engineering crafting section 
And then if we go down a little bit uh, up there, you just get to the water mill. So let's go down one more layer and we'll see the changes over here. All right. So I've got a field of industrial hemp right here. It does not work as well as outside. So I'm thinking either it's because I've got this uh, like so and not interspersed like I do. Like um, so on the outside, I've got hemp and then wheat hemp, wheat, and so on. So here it's all just in one patch. And it could be because maybe the hemp grows better with uh, no, uh, no, what, sky access? Yeah, I don't know. So if you know, you can let me know, but I'm not sure, and I haven't looked in the code, so I don't know. So uh, anyway, over here, we've got a little bit of a tree farm. I've pulled up the tree farm that was outside, and then I moved the nether portal to over here. And then all along here, as kind of showed you on the outskirts, I told you I was going to be changing out all of where we had the cobblestone fence. I've changed that out for this glass, uh, stained glass. So uh, it opens it up a little bit. I like it a lot better. And this is kind of the level we're going to stick at. I've moved the immersive, uh, immersive machines down here and then the fishing machine right here. And I've set this up in an immersive engineering look and feel. So maybe eventually I will get to changing the floor out. Who knows? But but yeah, there that's that's where we're sitting at the moment. So right now we've got this blast furnace. It's improved. It's going a little bit quicker. I've got it working on some blocks of iron. But there is another thing that we can do. And if we look here, we will go to simple machines maybe. Can we do that here? External heater? No, no, no. How about... Uh, heavy machinery and no overview and resources is this here crude blast furnace and can we update that here improved blast furnace okay and then one more yep so there's these two items or you can you can there's this thing called the uh, preheater okay so this takes if and you attach it right here to this side and this side. You make two of them. And and that's kind of what we're looking at doing right here. So each of them, so we need to make two. Each one takes an external heater and then some iron sheet metal. I've processed all the ores from last time. So let's. Uh, what we need to do is get that going. And, uh, and yeah, something else I want to do. I think I've got the materials here with me. We need to craft a couple of these gravestones. Yeah, just that okay and then i'm thinking maybe up top on the mountain i was thinking over on a little peninsula that we've got over there but there's not tons of room just in case things get really out of hand here so i am going to lay these things out like so boom and boom and there we go so every time that happens i will make one of those and yeah there we go all right now Let's start making this preheater and see if we can get the uh, blast furnace working a little bit better. So we'll type that in. We do need to make the external heater. It's going to require, what, three copper ingots per and then some copper coil. Do we have any copper coil? We've got a little bit there. And then let's grab a couple things there. And let's do that. We'll turn that on and then we're going to need what another four so let's let that run it should yeah okay and then we've got some sticks over here and then we'll need probably some wire relay some connector and insulated coil we'll see if we need any more coil uh, from that and then over here got some more of that oh awesome okay all right now iron maybe a little bit and then what else did we need we need sheet metal as well and we need some redstone so that should be good and there we go okay let's get these external heaters going we're going to need a couple of of these copper coil blocks so we can make some of those and then uh, iron we don't have iron oh because i didn't pull it out that. okay not a problem let's do that and then 
let's see if we can make this thing. Yes, we can. Okay, so we've got the external heaters now. And how's this iron sheet metal? So we're going to need iron plate. And we can do that. Uh, how many of them do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven per each of these. And each one requires four. So 28 per times two. You got that? 28 times two. 56. So we're going to need 56 sheets of iron. That's going to eat into our iron supplies a decent amount. So we got 40 there. And then two. Let's change out for the metal press mold for our, our wire coil. And then we will do that and just let that go. Okay. So that's going to be going. While we're doing that, maybe let's take a look at some other stuff that we can get into now i told you maybe a little bit of extra power generation i want to see if we can do the uh, thermoelectric generator so i really like these i played with these in my direwolf 20 series and by now you should have seen that the direwolf 20 series is uh uh well we're, we're done okay so um if you were wondering about that that is now done it's been yeah, we finished that up when you're getting this. We finished it up last week when I'm recording this. So I finish it up in a couple of days. So anyway, so this thermoelectric generator, we are going to be needing some constantin. And the way that this thing works, it works with a, a, a physical property called uh, it's called the Seebeck effect. And, and that's the effect between uh, some metals give you uh, an electric charge if there's a difference in temperature and so we're going to be using uranium mixed with uh, packed ice to provide a temperature differential and that's going to uh, give us that that heat that we can use to to generate from there so uh, we can probably make we'll start with a couple we'll start with a couple and then see see where to go from there okay so for now we'll just leave it like that we'll get a couple of pieces of uranium and then we will need, we've got a wire connector there. We'll need a couple of those and we'll need some more insulated wire. So maybe we'll grab some of that and, and yeah, this thing, how's it going? 30. So, so that's still, that's still going. So we're going to need Constantin and Constantin we make with the alloy kiln and that's one copper, one nickel, and we get two. So we're going to need what? We're going to make two of these. So we need 10 Constantin plates. So that means uh, we'll need five copper, right? Yeah, so let's do that. Five copper and then nickel. Do we have any other nickel right here? Five nickel. And let's go put that down in our alloy kiln, like so. And I hope we have some fuel in there. Yes, we do. So we'll get that going. And while that's running, we'll see. Uh, what else we can make up top here with the constantin plate? Um, so we may, we're a little bit short on, okay, so we got a little bit more to go there and we'll need to get some, uh, some wires going with copper. So let's do that. And there we go. So we'll need a couple of those. That done? Not quite. And I think we're done. Yeah, we're done there. So we can switch this out for the wire and we'll put uh, four more of those in there. That should give us decent amount. So let's make this sheet metal, shall we? To do, do it like that and then go like so. That gives us 14, uh, 50. Oh boy. I just made more than I, I needed to. Let's take a look here. Okay, so each one of those gives us four. <laughs> I made way more iron plates and iron sheet metal than we will need for some time, but we'll need it for some tanks and stuff coming up. So shouldn't be a problem. Uh, you know what? We probably need a little bit more uh, there. Okay, let's make one of these copper coil blocks like so. And... You know what? Let's chuck a couple more of these in here. Like that. Okay. 
just because we're going to be needing some more wires. I know that. I know that for a fact. Let's do this. We get one copper coil block, and then we can get... We don't have steel on us. I've got the steel up here, and we'll need, what, one more right like that. Grab that. Okay. So we've got plenty of copper wire, and let's just make a bunch of this stuff. We're going to need it for the insulated. Let's see if we can do that real quick. Insulated. Uh, we can do one batch of that. Okay, that's fine. And then let's go back down and get our th our thermoelectric or our constant and stuff out of here. Is that still going? No, we're done. Okay. And then we can make plates out of this one. And then we will be making a couple of items all at the same time. And like so. Okay. Got that. Put this away. And then we'll throw the constantin in there. And then we should be able to make our preheaters now while we're at it. With our vastly uh, over uh, overdone sheet metal okay i guess we can just throw the rest of the sheet metal in there with our other items okay anything else we're going to need here i don't know if we will but that should be good and then over here almost got that let's make another batch of that uh, copper coil block let's do that and there we go and not quite. We can get the constant plates from here and then we can make our thermoelectric generators right like so. And then let's see if we can get uh, another batch of this, this wire here like so. I like the insulated. It's it's doing a lot better for me. That uh, I would keep the death notice from the other the other previous one, but I don't know where that went to. So it's probably stuck in one of these chests around here, but who knows? Who knows? We can put these back in here, and then we can put the industrial hemp fiber in there, and then we'll chuck the wheat into there, and then maybe those ladders in there as well. And what are we doing now? So we've got, we've got our thermoelectric generator. That's cool. And then we've got the blast furnace preheater. So let's do this, shall we? Uh, set these up like so and like so okay and then we can put connectors on top can we get on top of this thing yes we can all right so now we've got uh, we got that and then maybe let's do that right there string some wire from uh no 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 no, I want the wire. I picked the wire, didn't I? Okay, and then wire. There we go. Okay, so we got that going. Next up, we need to string that wire up to our main area. That's going to be easier said than done, maybe? How about... Can we get to right here? Let's see if we can string from there to here. Yes, we can. Okay, so that's working. And then maybe, just maybe, we can take from there and go up this way. And this is a neat thing. I, You know, I used to not care for these wires so much because they lead to kind of a messy... Uh, look and feel around your base, but you know what? Sometimes, sometimes you just got to do the messy thing. And so that's what we're going to do right here. Can we do this? There to there. Excellent. Now we should have IF going into here. Is that working? Yes, those have IF going in. And is this going any faster? I don't know if it is. Hmm. I I honestly don't know. Uh, maybe it is a little bit faster. Maybe it's because we've got blocks of iron in there. Who knows? But uh, you know what? It's um. 
Maybe it's working. I don't know. Yeah, I, I noticed the blocks of iron take a little bit longer. Of course, you'd expect so because it's nine ingots worth instead of just one. Right, so let's put our slag into there and then let's play around with our thermoelectric generators a bit. Let's grab some packed ice and I've got silk touch pick and I've got, uh, let's see, I made another silk touch pick because of a little something that I may show you not, not in this episode, something coming up in another episode. But uh, who knows? We'll, we'll see. Uh, so I did make another another pick right there. Uh, what we want to do is maybe let's make a couple of, uh, of these here capacitors. What time are we sitting at? Oh, getting close to done. We need some iron and treated wood. Got that. And then that. Let's do this. We're going to make a couple of these capacitors. Not uh, not tons. Same as what we've been doing. You know what? I'm going to make three because I want to put another windmill in. So, so we'll do that. And then maybe let's go uh, down to this level. This is just going to be one we play with for now. And then we'll set this up within our overall structure a little bit better later on. So let's do that and that. Okay. So you have to set them up um, kind of catty corner like this so that we are efficient with our uranium. We're not finding tons of it down in the mines, but uh, that's, that's kind of the name of the game. It's a pretty rare ore. And we'll take the capacitor like so and like so. And how about let's get our hammer out and we will lay the hammer down on input. Okay, there we go. So you can see we've got IF coming in and yeah. So these things just generate it passively, kind of like every other of these things here with the windmills and the water mills and stuff. But this is pretty cool. No, um, no, it's not dependent upon water speed or anything. It's just there and we're generating something like 40 IF a tick. So that's, uh, that's not too bad. We could probably make two more of these things based on the, the amount of uranium that I have at the moment. And then if I find any more, then we'll just keep making these. I don't know where to put them though, but, but yeah, anyway, so, you know, we've got, we got preheaters making this thing go a little bit faster. Who knows? The jury's still out on it. If you, if you know of any way to know if that's working let me know but other than that i mean that's that's supposed to be what you do right let's take a look at our book again see if this has any other other thing blast furnace preheaters use the heat of the air and then blow it into the furnace okay it speeds up the refinement process each furnace can have up to two preheaters connected to the ports on each side and each preheater requires 32 flux per tick to operate and they hold eight kilo IF. Okay. So, so yeah, maybe, maybe that's working. Who knows? I don't know. Anyway, jury's still out, but, but yeah, maybe it's working. Yeah. Anyway, so we've gotten thermoelectric generators, which is pretty cool, actually, or warm, or it's just a good temperature differential. And then we've got the preheaters going on our blast furnace making the steel a little bit faster. And then you've seen the overall base renovation. We'll figure out where to put those thermoelectric generators. I don't want to keep them there. We've got some other plans for that level of our base, but I think we've got a pretty good thing going. We've got the wire strung all about. It's uh, looking like a proper crazy hermit uh, engineering base with these, uh, <laughs> these, these wiring all over the place. Anyway, that's great. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you are up to date with everything else going on, on the channel. That's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.